Bless him. Bless him. Praise the, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sister Pippi, they speak to you and I. Rebbe speak to you and I. Come on, church, they speak to you and I. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. We all go through our own challenges. Yeah. Some going through water to, to tough time. Financial challenges. Some going through all kinds of challenges. But what? God. Yes. Brothers, brothers and sisters, um, please, please forgive me, but I have to rush off. We have a very important matter at Bethlehem today. There's a lady who celebrated her 100th birthday. And I'm um, going up to bless her cake and celebrate with her. So um, I ask you to forgive me rushing off before the service ends. But the price will do the closing exercise. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Good to see you, Brother Russell. Bless the Lord, everyone. Have a safe journey up, Rev. Brother and sisters, I want you to turn with me to um, Isaiah chapter 43. I'm going to look at the first seven verses. But you know, brothers and sisters, as you come to worship today, right now, what, the ninth day of a new month? Am I right? And guess what? Many of us are really happy to see the back of 2021. It was indeed a trying year. It was indeed a tough year. It was indeed an unusual year. Tough, so tough was the year. So unusual was the year that it is the year that made the Prime Minister cry. Mm -hmm. What that is? Tough year. The Prime Minister cried. I cried. I tried. God knows him, he tried. But take off. Brothers and sisters, a year in which over 1,000 lives were lost, dislocated. A tough year for a 2021. But as I heard somebody said, it was a doctor over the weekend, was there any good to cut that comes out of 2021? Could not be bad. Some good may have come out. One thing I know for the example with our church, for the first time, people in different lands, and right now people are worshiping with us from different countries. Yes, we have spread our wings. Guess what? That kind of coronavirus has taught us to be resourceful. The coronavirus has taught us many other things to 2022 with optimism. We know, brothers and sisters, that we cannot do it on our own. We know, brothers and sisters, that we must rely on the strength of God. We must rely, rely and one who said, let there be, and there was. Glory to God, yes. We must rely on the, what, the rock of ages. We must rely on that God who spoke and even the wind understood. We still rely on that God who, who walked with Daniel in the lion den. That same God is available to you and I today. You know, I'll be back a little bit. To, um, to maintain the vehicle. Yes, you're going to say something wrong. Right because the vehicle is supposed to take care of itself. Yeah. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 43. And let us look at it. Verse 1. 
1 to verse 7. As I was speaking to the children of Israel, the children of Israel have turned their backs and God on many occasions. The same God who brought them out of the land of Egypt, the same God who had provided for them in tough times, the same God who had walked beside them, but then there again, as soon as things are turned in their favor, they turn their backs upon God. But brothers and sisters, don't we see that I'm um, replicating even in our own world? He was what to call a Higgler. You know the term a Higgler? Yeah, man, we used to that up in the new market here. So, and he used to have a donkey. And you know, donkey, donkey was a very useful animal. It's a very useful animal in those areas. Yes, man. And so, <laughs> I made the reference that some of us who said, God, if you only help me to, to acquire, get a vehicle, acquire something else better than a donkey, then I will be able to, I'm going to serve him more. And it's so happened, you know, that the same man, <laughs> that the gentleman, not a donkey. And, it, and things turned for him for the better. And he was able to, to purchase a people. And for about six months over this time, in church again. Yeah. <laughs> and when one of the, when one of the officers asked, but brother, I want to take brother Brown, that very good well, no, no, is here. Okay. Yeah, brother Brown. Oh, it's a Brown. It's not that Brown. Yeah. <laughs> brother Brown. But we not see the little man who had to pick up the paper. We have this to do. And you know, the business turn, I have to be supplying here, there, and everywhere. But this was the same mother. Who would say if only, if only God could help him to acquire this? Soon as he would, he would make a dedicate, he would dedicate more of his time and his service towards God. Brothers and sisters, 2022 is here. And as we go into 2022, listen what Isaiah had to say to the children of Israel then. Whether it was a new year, what it, 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 it was at the point in time of, of, of the lives of the Israelites, but now thus said the Lord, not thus said Isaiah, Isaiah, but now thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. Why Jacob? Jacob, brothers and sisters, um, is the beginning of the name of the Israelites. O oh, Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have won. I have redeemed thee. I have brought you back. Yes. Come on, church. Yes. I have brought you back. I have called thee by thy name. You are mine. Mm. You, Jacob, and say, you are for me. Yes, when you pass through what? Well, come on, church. Open your books. Open your Bible. I'll take books that I take up the classroom. Is that what <laughs> When you pass through the waters, what? I will be with you. When you, and, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow the, the one drone. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame tingle upon you. Yes. Not even the smoke will smell upon you. God is saying that to us now as we go into the new year. Yes. We, we go forward with strength. We go forward with confidence that we serve a true and living God. The God who provided for us over the years. Oh, yeah. Whether you be 40, 50, 60, 70, whether you're 8 year old or 10 year old, the same God who brought you into the world, the same God who sustained you over the years, through the, to what? the day, the week, the month, the year, the decade, the same God is alive today, and the same God promised to do what? to provide for you. He said, I will provide for the birds of the year. The, the beasts of the field, much more to you, my servant, God, my, my children. The same God 
promises to provide for us. Let us not doubt God. Let us not doubt God. That God is going to, to provide for us in no uncertain manner. Those of those who come from the, from, from, from the deep rural areas, you know, um, they were the, 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 the older folks. Not like Sister Banta, but the older folks, like people like Mr. Banta, but the sister, <laughs> sister, sister Shama. And so, we know that when it in, 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 in back up in the you know, in the hills, when, we, uh, when there comes a the time, Sometimes when the neighbor will kill a pig or whatever, then you as children you run errand until the football damn running. <laughs> yes, man. And there are times, you know, sisters, brothers, now when you hear me, I'm not this no joke thing. Sometimes I, I, I can speak of, of experience because of experience. The mother will say, Nothing is dear, nothing. Is, Virtually nothing is there to provide for dinner. Yeah. But nonetheless, she put on the pack in fear to the big day. Yeah. And when you took what? Well, before this, this the pack starts boiling up, your ear piece can hold up. Well, am I, am, I, am I talking right? Your ear piece can hold up. Look at what? Look at Robbie. You hear, when you look, they say a little, a boy, a little girl coming up, which was called a potopo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. But I'm not going to tell you, if you know, if, any, anyway, you are the younger one, you are the younger one, I don't know if you know potopo. You can tell what I'm saying. And if you know what is a potopo, it's a basket. It's a pretty little basket. Yes. yes. And in that potopo, you find something. You ever hear about picture of the garden? You know it too? No. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. In that, in that, in that photo pool, what, a, what could be picture of that? A piece of liver, or something like that. In, a, in what I'm saying, you have meat. But it's not only meat. You find food in it as well. And so sometimes when even the children, when that little child comes, sister Shah, sure. and if the child may be playing around, um, mommy may be saying, I wish you go home now, go, go, man, go, go, go back to mommy now, because mommy may need it. Because you, you want to go down the party you now, if you go to the same food, you go home. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Some through the waters, some through the... Brothers and sisters, we come through rough times. Yes. Many of us, many of us came through rough times. Oh, yes. But thanks be to God, we are who we are today. We did not have to take up the gun, nor the knife, nor the steel. Thanks be to God. The God who provided for us, then, Mr. Sylvie. The God who brought you across the world. The God bring you back. And today, today, you can walk into your closet and say, which dress I want to wear today? Yes. And you, I never see this one. I never remember have this one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Today, brothers and sisters, many of us can, you just, you open your refrigerator. Back then, but I was we have a thing called crank crank. <laughs> you know, you don't understand what that time. You don't understand what that But you had a thing called crank crank. You know what? Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. And then when you when you put some dust about the meat and the photo over the fire. Come on. And when you think that thing, you can go you hear it dropping in the, the fat dropping in the in just everything. You hear it dropping in the fire. Bing. Good God. Thank God for where we are today. Things may be tough enough. Things may appear to be rough and tough right now. Because we don't, you know, we, we, we may not have all that we need. But praise be to God, we have all that we want. Yes, yes. Yes. All that makes life possible. 
But then seated as we go into the new year. To look back where God has brought you from. Where God has brought me from. Brothers and sisters. Mighty that way. Yes. Somebody said, oh, the year before us. Oh, what rich supply. God is all sufficient. What? For the community. And it's onward, then and fear not. Children of the day. For his word shall never, never pass away. Brothers and sisters, Isaiah spoke to the children of Israel then. Verse 3 said, What? For I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord your God. The Holy One of Israel, your favor. I gave Egypt. Why Egypt? Why, why Ethiopia? Those were the mighty forces at the time. But then God was reminding the children of Israel that he continued to provide for them. Guess what? And they, they were confused when they saw the Egyptians coming. They started to rail up and Moses. But Moses said, stand still. Stand still. Because the Egyptians who you see today, you will see them what? No more. When they rail up on Moses, and then for, for, for water. And they said, man, when they are in a grave in Egypt to bury us, when you turn us in the, in the wilderness to perish, God spoke to Moses, strike the rock. Fresh, cool water came. It's a come out of the deep freeze. Refreshing water. What a mighty God we serve. Brothers and sisters, you know, I have to talk about the whole one thing, and it's a big dumb mistake. It's a big dumb mistake. Probably 10 years ago, we can't talk about it. That time, probably I won't be here. <laughs> but, but, we remember, we remember, brothers and sisters, that there were times then when the, those of us who had to study the Thanks be to God for the whole, what I'm calling, the whole sweet home. You remember that, sister? But don't that many of us were fortunate to have home, sweet home. Some of us could only, could only study from a little one they call the kitchen something. That's a church word. And so, sometimes when you look the, the following morning, you, you push a white coat if you're not street. No, no, it's more. Man, it is like a camouflage. Huh? But thanks be to God today, you just walk to the world. You just walk to the world. And you just flick on the light. Hello? We talk, we say that we, we complain at times. We say things rough. Things tough. But the God, as I said earlier on, the God continue to provide for you and you and you and me. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you see, since thou was precious, we are all precious in God's sight. Yes. And that he will never what, leave us what? Comfortless. He's going to be our source. He's going to be what? Our provider. He promises to be our what? Protector. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. I believe my God. So my God is saying to us, despite the challenges of the past year. Yeah. And there will be challenges in this year. One thing I know, verse 5 says, fear not. The word of God said what? Fear not. Fear not. Why? For I am come on, come on church. Yeah. Fear not. You may have lost jobs. 
You think you, 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 you were coming up on the rough side of the mountain. The slippery slope. But thanks be to God. I have a God who has never failed. I have a God who sticks closer than a brother or a sister. I have a God who is from everlasting to everlasting. He said in verse 5, Fear not. Don't be afraid. For I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. He said in other words, you will be adequately provided for. You won't be in need of anything. The God we serve, the God that took care of the children of Israel as they journeyed to, to into the promised land, as they journeyed through the wilderness, you and I may have to go through our wilderness situation that time. Come on. You and I have to, have, have to face our red seas yes, at times. Yes, amen. You and I will have to go to the, what do you call, the fiery furnace. And you see, brothers and sisters, sometimes the fiery furnace may come from evil within. Hello? Yes, yes it comes from within. Yes. May come from your spouse, your children, family members. But thanks be to God, there is a God on whom we can rely. He said, fear not, for I am with you. Somebody see you getting through. Somebody see you going along, sister. Somebody see you going along, brother. And he said, what be it? Oh, this is how I get you in the life, son. Something all right there, son. I want to take my scam on the boy yet. But I tell you something. You see, when my God starts um, providing for you, when my God starts answering prayer, He said, What up? He just, he just opened your, your, your show house and I'm going to pour you a blessing. My God is going to what? Give you a blessing that more than you can what? Can more than you can handle. That's why, you know, but I'm not going to get married this time. But the, what do you say about the cup again? What is it about I'm um, I'm drinking from my what? Oh, I'm drinking from the sauce, sir. Because my cup overflows, I say, I don't I, I don't know I'm with it, but I don't know my side here. I don't agree with about it. I say, my cup overflow, so I am sharing from my sister. <laughs> I'm sharing from my sister because my cup has overflowed. Brothers and sisters, believe the true and living God. You had some uphill occasion in your life. You have been in the fire furnace. But thank God you are still alive. Yes. We are still alive. Yes. Thank God for that great rock of ages. Brothers and sisters, as we go into the, the, new, the new year, continue into the new year, we want to, to dump some of the old habits that, 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 that ensnare us, so to speak. Yes, it's like this garbage bin, bin here. Whether the, whatever, the, whatever, whatever, the, whatever the problem is, whatever some of the old habits, we need to dump them. Throw them in, 5.30. Throw them in, 5.30. The bad man. The covetousness. Dump them. Yes. The love. The love. Dump them. Whatever they are, dump them. The garbage truck will come along. Yes. Brothers and sisters, let this day, today, be a new day in your life, in my life. Rise up and shine. Shine for the light has come. Shine from where you are. Just as the children sung, Jesus beat or shine. Let the light of Christ remain in you and I. 
you can make a difference in your neighbor. And as I said some 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 Sundays ago, when you are when you are peace, when there's peace in the homes, there's going to be peace in the in the communities. And when you have peace in the community, you're going to have a peaceful country. And when you have a peaceful country, we may have a peaceful region. And peaceful region leads to a peaceful world. Brothers and sisters, let the love and the light of God shine through you that you may make a difference in your, in your home, in your community, and by extension, your country. Brothers and sisters, these are my few words in Jesus' name.